ever feel like your phone controls you instead of the other way around. Like you're trapped in a walled garden with beautiful flowers, sure, but only one way in and out. Maybe you've considered switching to Android, but then there's iMessage, that green bubble of despair. Well, buckle up, because a recent lawsuit might just change the game. The Department of Justice, along with a group of states, just filed a massive lawsuit against Apple, accusing them of being an anti-competitive bully. Specifically, they're looking at Apple's control over the App Store and iMessage. Remember that frustrating time you couldn't download a different music app, or how your Android friends always seem confused by your text? Yeah, that's what they're talking about. Imagine if your local grocery store only sold apples, and to get anything else, you had to pay them a hefty fee and convince them it wasn't a competitor to their apples. That's kind of what Apple does with the App Store. They control who gets in, what they can sell, and how much they charge. But it's not just about apps. My message, the messaging service loved by iPhone users, intentionally makes text bubbles green and clunky when texting with Android users. It's a subtle but powerful way to keep people locked in the Apple ecosystem. Now, Apple says they're just protecting user privacy and security with iMessage. They claim opening it up would be a risk, but critics argue this is just a way to maintain control. The lawsuit could have huge implications. If they win, it could force Apple to loosen its grip. Imagine downloading apps from anywhere, not just the App Store. Imagine iMessage seamlessly working across platforms. It's a future where your phone truly is yours, an open playing field. Of course, this is a complex fight and it might take years to play out. But one thing's for sure, it's a turning point in the smartphone landscape. The walls of the iPrison might be cracking. Whether you're a die-hard Apple fan or a curious Android user, this case will definitely impact how we use our phones in the future. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, keep your eyes peeled for updates on this tech showdown.